Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you how to turn an image into a puzzle. Now, I'm not talking about just putting a bunch of squiggly lines through your picture. We're going to turn it into a puzzle. We're going to take out some pieces of the puzzle. You're going to love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This will work fine for Photoshop Elements 10, Photoshop Elements 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to do a special version of Photoshop Elements 12. So those are the images we're working on. That little thing there, that's our puzzle tray. The, um, the outline of the puzzle, I got that at iStockPhoto.com. You can find those a lot. Just search puzzle on an image sharing site. Now, the first thing we want to do is double click on the background layer so it is unlocked. All right. Now we're going to bring our image of our outline of the puzzle. And I'm left clicking, holding, and dragging it onto the image of the mom and her daughter. I'm just going to drag the canvas out a little bit so we can find the actual end of the puzzle. There you go. And I'm going to fit it so it fits the picture just right. Okay, and I'm going to click on the green check mark. Alright, now we're going to select the magic eraser tool. And tolerance is at 36, that's just fine. And I'm just left clicking and releasing and knocking out some of the puzzle pieces. Now we're going to go into fast forward. If you don't do this, you will not be able to create a bevel on the puzzle pieces which you absolutely need. Alright, now we're going to change this from a normal layer to multiply. I like addition, but multiply will work. There it is. Beautiful. Alright, now we're going to go to layer, layer style, and style settings. And I'm going to put that bevel on. And the bevel's at 5 right now, and I'm just going to click on OK. Look at that bevel! It's a little bit too loud, so we're going to bring the opacity down, which means transparency, to about uh, 40%. Okay. Looks good. Now we're going to pick up our digital puzzle piece tray. And we're going to select the quick selection tool and then select the magic wand tool. Alright. Now we're going to left click and release. And now we're going to select the Move tool and move the puzzle piece over to our digital puzzle piece tray. Now I'm going to show you, I'm showing you how to do this, but I'm going to show you the technique, so stay with me. What I just did now is I activated the main window and hit delete on my keyboard. Now we're going to select the move tool and move the puzzle piece over to the tray. But I haven't showed you the actual technique, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, I just hit delete on my keyboard. I activated the main window and hit delete on my keyboard. What happened? Info puppet stinks! Alright, let me show you why. It had to be on the puzzle layer. Okay? Now when you select the Move tool, you have to be on the layer of the image. Okay? That's how you do this technique. Now I just hit Delete on my keyboard. Now what we're going to do is we have to uh, drag the layers over. I'm going to select Layer, Layer, Style, and Style Settings. I'm going to put a stroke on each piece of the puzzle. And I just want um, size to be one pixel. I'm going to bring the opacity down to like 52%. I'll make it 55. Okay, you see the little line around the puzzle? Now I'm going to go fast forward and quickly do the other two pieces. See the little one pixel stroke around the pieces. Now we're going to left click, hold, and drag them over to the other image. 
Now you see the lines are going through our puzzle pieces. That's okay. You just have to slide that layer above the layer of the outline of the puzzle pieces. Also, you want to turn your puzzle pieces because in real life, they're not going to be straight up and down. Trust me on this. Okay. Now I'm going to go to layer, layer style, style settings, and we're going to put a drop shadow on each of the puzzle pieces. Okay, just whatever the default is is fine. And fast forward, now the other two have the drop shadow. And now I just selected the layer of the image, and we're going to go to layer, layer style, style settings, and drop shadow, and the default is fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. And I want to make sure that white is on my bottom. And now I'm going to hit Command or Control and Delete as that layer is selected to create a white background. And there it is. It looks great. Now Photoshop Elements 12. Here's how you do it if you have Photoshop Elements 12. It's kind of easier. Just select Guided. And then you're going to come down here and we're going to select uh well first of all if you don't see it, it's because this arrow is pointing down so make sure it's pointing up and you'll select puzzle effect now i'm going to go up here and select either small medium or large i'm going to select medium look at that now we're going to select this button that says select puzzle piece and now i just left click and release and now I'm going to click on Extract Puzzle Piece. Now it's actually placed the puzzle piece somewhere on the image. Now I just uh, selected Select Puzzle Piece again and Extract Puzzle Piece. And there are my two puzzle pieces. They're right on top of each other, so I'm going to move them. And again, the only thing you really have to do is tilt your puzzle pieces in Photoshop Elements 12. Alright, I'm going to quickly just add one more puzzle piece. And this looks good and extract it and turn it and there you go it looks great thanks a lot for watching do me a favor leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button thank you again from info puppet